so obviously the motor is out and to conclude what it takes to get it out um, the only thing that helped me up was one bolt that was down here in the center it's like an eight millimeter and it was connected to the pan or some shield uh wait a minute mm. i think the shield is on the other side or it's underneath the car oh yeah the shield is actually underneath i don't know if you can see it down there but that shield was hanging on to the motor uh it was a bolt i didn't see and i wasn't able to pull it out um it was kind of a bitch to get it past this area here for the oil pan um, but obviously finagling it to get out was not that big of a deal as far as the rest of the wire harness there is and it looked like an oil pressure sending unit that's connected to the starter harness uh, that goes on the passenger side of the block that's behind the starter you're gonna have to take an eight millimeter untake I mean take that screw out which is located there so be careful when you take that out um, as you see oil will come out uh, so I just stuffed it with a rag took the actual plug off the harness put that back in um, my motor mounts are thrashed I'm gonna have to get two new motor mounts I have since taken the water pump off um, up front the other thing too was that I noticed there are two rings that fell out of the head one on each side so originally I showed you that one that came out I don't know if you guys can see that and then I just noticed a little while ago that that one fell out too so both rings at the same time fell out of the head and that's what I was mentioning in the beginning about yes I could have taken one head off refurbished it or if I would have found that problem had it redone but then you got to worry about the other side so clearly it happened on both sides at the exact same time and that's why I warranted um, um, taking the whole motor out and replace it I did in my last video say it was relatively easy to take that uh, MDS solenoid out I got the first one out cracked the other three pissed behind that because each one of those are like sixty nine dollars so that's 200 and some 240 dollars whatever that now I got to replace I don't know how in the world I even got them out they crack right here at the top of the head so could you use some CA glue to glue that back on maybe you know but I just think the headache of well actually it wouldn't be that bad to try that out because it's not that big of a deal to have access to that you're just putting the manifold back on uh, I don't but I don't know if it'll work or not work or what but I guess if you're doing a project of this magnitude what's 200 and some dollars to replace the shit and be done with it but like I said I don't even know I mean I know how I got it out but man that shit was a bitch to duplicate and once I saw how it cracked like I don't even I, just, I lucked out so I would say anybody that's doing an MDS um, motor budget to replace that shit just break the solenoids off or unplug them and take them out and I mean it, it's a roll of the dice if you can get them out get them out um, you got to undo the oxygen sensor plug on each side for the manifold you see I pull it out with the manifold and um, that's basically it um, finagling it to get out I did end up taking my um, AC hose off not on purpose the shit just came loose um, I unplugged it and the shit squirted out but it is what it is but uh, originally you said we were going to get it out without messing up my fuel lines and it looks like I've been able to do that so I'm happy about that that's my one MDS uh, solenoid down there that's what it looks like when you pull it out so I was able to save one so that's seventy dollars in my pocket opposed to having to buy all four uh, other than that you know she's out and uh, everything that I had mentioned previously as far as what you have to take loose in order to get it out is it I didn't have to take out anything other than what I mentioned um, my transmission is still in place didn't undo that and um, that's it so that concludes this video of taking it out don't know if I'll do a video once everything is in maybe just to show you uh, I might do another video to um, you know talk about maybe what I maybe came across and putting things together if there was any troubleshooting or something like that but certainly uh, I think probably would make sense to do a video putting things back together and showing that um, you know you could do this at home don't have to go see a mechanic or anything like that 
but um in in an overall conclusion turning the key seeing that it's on so uh out with the old in with the new so now i got to rebuild everything on the new motor i've taken the torque converter off that was kind of tricky you do need a yeah, I wanted to try to get you the tools that you need for this. But anyway, in order to get the tor torque converter off, this... Oh, man, this thing is heavy. So, there are four bolts back here. You can get to them uh, in the back, you know, if you can still turn the motor, which in my situation you can't. But down there, see, those are exposed. So you can turn this around or spin it if you can with the crank. Take the two off. These are the bolts here. Again, I forget the size, but um, <clears throat> there's six of them. So now I'm going to take the flywheel off and then uh, get to the rear main seal and start replacing gaskets and stuff like that. So uh, again, now it's about tearing down the motor and putting everything that was on this motor back on the new one. <clears throat> so at this point, um, I'm going to get the majority of what I can get done today before it starts raining. And uh, I am on hold anyway because I have to wait on my spark plugs and the uh, water pump. And now I got to order MDS uh, solenoids as of yesterday. And after pulling this motor out, looking at my motor mounts, I see that they are thrashed. So I think I'm going to go ahead and order some motor mounts. Motor mounts at O'Reilly's were 59 each. eBay, I think they were like 36 each. So I'll give you an idea on price and. Again, minor thrash, minor. Hold on, let me get around here. Oh, ouch. Got to order some, uh, some, I mean, get some oil, oil filter, but uh, motor mounts are thrashed. And, oh, got to get a uh, harmonic balancer puller or a crate puller so I can get that off. And then that whole plate comes off, oil pan drops down, Take the manifold off, the motor mounts, and that's it. That's all that comes off the block and bolt it on the new one and build on the top of the motor. So, uh, I mean, you guys already know the, the rest as far as the smog pump, the AC starter, alternator. So, uh, that's it. <clears throat>